MSOP project is a unique and important solution in the energy transition scenario. It is a renewable energy system that creates decentralized power generation and micro-combined heat and power. The aim of the OMSOP technology is to produce systems that can be used in a standalone arrangement to power either small communities or single households or schools or hospitals or can be stacked in a farm-like arrangement for producing small to medium power plants, particularly in areas where grid infrastructure is either non-existent or poor. This project aims to provide and demonstrate technical solutions for a state-of-the-art concentrated solar power system coupled with micro-gas turbines to produce electricity. The intended system will be modular and capable of producing electricity in the range of 3 to 10 kilowatts. The main objective of the OMSOB project is to develop and demonstrate a micro-gas turbine technology operated by concentrated solar power using a parabolic dish system to improve the reliability and reduce the cost of the system to make it suitable for future markets we needed to do new developments in the solar dish system in the receiver and in the micro turbine and parallel to these developments we wanted as well to explore the market and uh, the cost of the system so that it can be suitable for future markets the project had a duration of four years with a budget of 5.8 million euros co-funded by the European Union's seventh framework program for research and development. The OMSOP project brings together eight partners from industry and academia. The OMSOP project was led by City University of London, who were coordinating all the activities of the project, as well as the development of the microgas turbine, which is the prime mover in the system. The micro turbine is not a conventional microgas turbine because it required new innovations, that allow the microgas turbine to operate at a wide range of operation to deal with the variable solar irradiation. It required a new technology for controlling the microgas turbine because it's not a conventionally fired fuel microgas turbine. It requires new developments in electrical and electrical components for the system. And the work in the microgas turbine was done by City University supported by Compower. The solar receiver, which replaces the combustor in a conventional microgas turbine, has been developed by KTH. This cavity receiver is able to withstand the high temperatures of 800 to 1000 degrees C, operating at long hours. The concentrator, which is made of large array of mirror arranged in a parabolic arrangement, has been developed by Innova and has been characterized in support with Enea. Innova did a lot of work on the development of the tracking system and on producing lighter and more reflective mirrors. Enea was responsible for the overall assembly of the system, integrating it into one complete system and instrumenting it and preparing it for testing and conducting the tests on the system with support from City University. Parallel to the technical work, a number of research and development activities aiming at future systems that can be deployed to the market included the work by University of Roma Tre, where they were looking at system optimization from technical point of view, supported by University of Seville, who were looking at techno-economic analysis, cost analysis and market analysis of the system. Uh, European Turbine Network was responsible for the dissemination activities of the project. System integration was uh, very challenging, uh, uh, starting from the mechanical integration, which required us to develop a supporting system which could uh, ensure the ex thermal expansion of the component and the mechanical stability of the system to meet the requirements of every single component in every angle of inclination of the system when tracking the sun. For the electrical integration, the main concern was the development of a completely new component, uh, a converter, which could enable the switching between the motoring phase and the, generation, the electricity generation phase. Air comes into the compressor, which increases pressure and temperature. This high-pressure air first goes into the recuperator and then flows into the receiver, where it is heated up to a temperature of about 900 degrees. 
The turbine then reduces the air pressure, producing useful work. The expelled air then goes into a recuperator to increase efficiency. Well, the market for uh, the onsoft technology is uh, extremely wide because it is up to the flexibility of the system and the capacity that it has to adapt to many different boundary conditions. And that's going to be a change in people's mindset. The fact that they now have a system which is based on solar thermal uh, power or solar thermal electricity, which can provide not only electric output, but they can supply with also a fuel if needed, or which can produce at the same time heat. So we can find appropriate markets in small communities that are remote uh, from uh, urban areas in China, in uh, South Africa, in Central Africa, or even uh, the Middle East, in South America as well, countries like Chile, uh, but also in Europe. So you're going to find that all you need is a small community with an average TNI, uh, intermediate to high if you wish, and uh, able to consume about 10 to 15 electric kilowatts. And that's all you need, which is, as I said before, a change in paradigm because we are used to seeing very large power plants when it comes to CSP, and that is not the case here. So we have a new player in the market which is competitive, which is flexible, and therefore it can offer to the market features that other direct competitors do not have. OMSOP, a bright, sustainable solution for the future.